So patch number three for KSP2 just got released as of the making of this video. So I thought I'd hop in and see how it does. We got a number of things from new parts to performance improvements to UI scaling, bug fixes, and also some other things. I decided to test this out with, as you saw by the title, a minimalist style mission to Minmus. This vessel will consist of three stages essentially. We will have our final stage, which will be our lander. Our second stage, which will be responsible for carrying us to and from Minmus from Kerbin. Then we have our first stage, which is our booster that will be responsible for getting us out of Kerbin's atmosphere and into orbit. So now that we have this built, let's throw it on the launch pad and see how it does. All right, so after a successful launch and circularization around Kerbin, I actually forgot I was gonna deorbit this first stage. So we're just gonna go ahead and point retrograde, bring our periapsis down just a touch, and then we will decouple this first stage so we can deorbit the main stage. So with that headed back towards Kerbin, we will go ahead and point prograde and do a small burn to bring ourselves back into a stable orbit and then hop over into the map view and begin planning our trip out to Minmus. We'll go ahead and plan our maneuver at the ascending node. And let's see if we can get an encounter. Okay, that looks good. We'll go ahead and focus on Minmus and fine tune our maneuver so we get that low trajectory. And then we can warp to our maneuver and begin our burn. All right, so now that we have the majority of our burn done, we can hop over and focus on Minmus again to do that last little bit of adjustment and then warp out to our encounter. Okay, so there we go. We'll warp down to our periapsis here and then we can position ourselves retrograde and start burning for circularization around Minmus. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my inclination and everything because we will be doing a rendezvous with our second stage. So that will help make things easier for when we leave the surface of Minmus and prepare for our flight back to Kerbin. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and decouple our lander and go ahead and prepare our descent onto the surface of Minmus. And while we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the bugs I encountered while doing this, cause even though we just had our new patch, this mission did not go off without a hitch. We had some problems decoupling, so the decoupling issues are not fixed. They introduced a new drag bug, which is hopefully gonna be addressed with a hotfix, but I was able to overcome all these bugs with quick saves and just reloading and trying different methods of decoupling. I find sometimes it helps to like actually right click and select whatever you're trying to decouple and sometimes you can have better luck doing it that way. But we are coming up on the surface here so we're going to start slowing down, going to burn retrograde 
and see if we can land nice and easy. Alright, well I think that went pretty much as well as it could have gone. We're going to have uh, Jeb here hop out. He's been in that tiny little pod for a while now, so go ahead and let him stretch his legs. Let him do a little lap around the lander here, and then we'll have him plant a flag. All right, so now that we've visited the surface of Minmus here, we are going to go ahead and hop back in the lander and get headed back into orbit so we can rendezvous with our other engine and head back to Kerbin. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start burning to circularize. It looks like I overshot it just a little bit. It's uh, Minmus has very low gravity, so uh, it's easy to do that. You really don't need much to get back into orbit from Minmus. That's what makes it one of the easiest celestial bodies in the game to go to and come back from. But anyways, back to it, we're going to go ahead and fly up to our apoapsis here and then do a small burn to circularize and just kind of begin matching our orbit with our other engine. This wasn't a really a very good rendezvous for me. Uh, I had a quick save and then I actually left and I came back and every time I would save um, the engine, the other craft that I'm rendezvousing with the orbit would be all thrown off and it would be either shooting towards the sun or shooting towards the surface of Minmus. So I kept reloading a few times. I didn't know what to do and eventually sorted itself out and I did have to correct the orbit of it a little bit. I did that off camera, but it worked out. And as you can see, we're here at the engine now, so we'll go ahead and get everything configured for a docking here and since the lander is out of electric charge right now we will go ahead and hop in this craft it's uh, remote controlled so we can use it to uh, do all the legwork and once again this isn't the most smooth dock because the lander there is out of electric charge as I said and it does not have any way to control itself. But where there's a will, there's a way. So we'll go ahead and press on and try to get this thing docked up. Do our last little burn here. And perfect. All right, so as you can see, I do have that little uh, decoupler that's glitched on there. It should have decoupled earlier. That's one of the, the glitches I experienced. But uh, that... that Went ahead and shook itself out of there, so we'll call that good. And then we can go ahead and start planning our route back to Kerbin. Alright, so there we go. We'll go ahead and knock our burnout, and then time warp out of the sphere of influence of Minmus. And then into orbit around Kerbin. And then we will begin bringing our periapsis down. 
so we can do an arrow break, a pretty aggressive arrow break at that, around Kerbin to bring our Apoapsis down and save a little bit of fuel. I have plenty, but you know, it's it's all just, just good practice. But now that we have our Periapsis inside of 60,000 meters, we're gonna go ahead and warp around and begin our first lap to aero break around Kerbin. All right, so there we go. That was a pretty aggressive first aero break, but the, the first lap around always is. It's gonna do the most, so we'll go ahead and do a few laps around And then we'll go ahead and fix our eccentricity a little bit just so we can have a much more controlled descent into Kerbin and try to land as close to the Kerbal Space Center as we can. But that's looking pretty good, so we'll go ahead and warp around to our periapsis here on the other side of the Space Center just so we can start our burn to enter into the atmosphere and begin slowing down to land on the surface. Okay, we're just gonna warp around here and fix our inclination a little bit. So once again, we're in a direct track right above the space center and we should land right around it. We're not gonna land on it, but we should land pretty close. So we're gonna go ahead and begin prepping our vessel for re-entry. We're gonna transfer all the fuel into the main lander here because we'll be using its engine to burn off our last little bit of speed as we hit the surface. So we will go ahead and warp down and get our parachute deployed and come in for a nice easy landing. As you can see, we're not too far from the space center. I'll take it. I think it took me a few tries to land this close, so I really wasn't trying to, you know, just keep reloading and trying again. So this looks good for me. We'll go ahead and get our landing gear deployed and prep for our landing. Go ahead and get our engines burning. Kill off that last little bit of speed. And a nice easy touchdown. Perfect. All right, so that's all for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I had a lot of fun making this as always. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and definitely subscribe. It's helping the channel out a lot. I'm trying to grow. So once again, I really appreciate you watching.